All right, this is my shower situation right now. You might not think it's that bad, but you know, it's kind of orange stuff and I wasn't quite sure how to get rid of it. Um, you know, this isn't so bad, obviously. It's a pretty new house, actually, just a couple years and I've cleaned this a few times. But this orange stuff just keeps coming back, it keeps growing back. And I heard that you can use like toilet bowl cleaner or something, but like, honestly, it's like black here in the corners and it's really hard to scrub or get those areas. And honestly, I don't think I can get rid of those areas. But um, I wanted to try something unconventional. I'm sure there's much worse showers than this, but I want to try power washing this. The question is, does my power washer even reach? You know, I've got to get the hose to go through this whole house, basically through this room, all the way through the living room, and out to the outside hose. No, it probably wouldn't, it wouldn't work. But because I have a water softener, and it has its own outlet for water right there. I'm thinking maybe, just maybe, with that hose length combined with the actual length of the power washer itself, I think I can do this. So uh, let's see. Here's the power washer I plan on using. The hose isn't terribly long, but it might just be long enough combined with the other hose. So uh, what is it, 2,000 PSI? Yeah, let's go get the hose though. That's the most important part right now. It's not terribly long, but it might be long enough. Let's see. All right, this is what I was talking about earlier. Uh, I should be able to connect this hose right here. I've done it before, and uh, hopefully that's enough. All right, good news, it's definitely long enough. I had plenty of room. I thought that I was gonna have to use the power washer hose itself to get some extra length, but it turns out I've got plenty of room to go all the way. I need to get rid of some kinks here, but I made it. So uh, let's hook up the power washer. All right, the power wash, the power washer's all hooked up. Uh, all the lines are connected. I got Teflon tape in the connections. Hopefully there's no pooling here, no flooding situation, and I'm ready to turn on the water. Good. Doesn't look like there's any leaking here. So the first step, so I just gotta let, some, gotta let gotta let the air out. Gotta run this for like 30 seconds. All right, I think all the air is out. So now I just gotta pick one of these. Uh... Okay, next up is to choose a nozzle. Um, this blue one here is for soap. There's basically no pressure. Um, this one is high pressure, uh, but you're, if you want to do something like concrete, use this. So that's probably good for the grout, but maybe too strong for the caulk. So I might come back to this one, but for now I'm just going to use this one. Uh, this nozzle it's, f should do a pretty good job. All right, I've, I've gotten rid of all the bottles and, uh, I'm ready to go put on my swimsuit. So I know there's going to be some splashback. Um, and I, that way I can close the door and, you know, not worry too much. So let's give this a shot. Alright, in order to close the door, I've routed the hose on the top. That way we got a tight connection here. That's a pretty good start. Yeah, it's about what I expected. 
expected. Probably not gonna work, but look, most of the orange is gone though. Definitely get rid of the orange. Well, uh, this power washer sucks by the way. Too. Uh, I'm just gonna show you like this one is not that orange, but you know, there's something there and uh, In my experience it takes a lot of elbow grease to scrub this so it's just like a one stroke and it's gone See I mean it's just completely gone No soap if you ever been in Niagara Falls, that's exactly what it feels like in here. There's like a fog in here now from all the atomized <laughs> uh, water. I don't know if atomized is the right word, but very, very tight, tiny particles of water. So yeah, I haven't used any soap, and um, I knew this wasn't going to get fixed because it's like actually part of the cock now. So it's like, it, it, it's, it's just not going to go away. But um, that's understandable. Everything else is... Pretty much 100% gone. The cock looks completely white. So the cock is not damaged either, except for up here. I might have. I don't know, that might just be the way they did it. But um, yeah, it looks pretty much unscathed. I don't think there's a problem. I probably need to go over this a little bit more in a couple places, but uh, I'm pretty happy with this. And uh, my wife would have never let me do this, but you know, she's not here, so this video will be proof that, uh, that it's doable and it won't ruin anything. So, it's for me too. <laughs> Another idea is your shower head, so uh, if you see any spots there, it doesn't hurt to check that out too. Okay, conclusion is that I've never seen my shower so clean since the day we moved in. Um, and that's not because I haven't cleaned it, I have, but nothing has been this effective. And I'm for sure going to do this every time I want to clean my shower. It's totally worth routing the, the hose and all the nonsense stuff you have to do to get the power wash in here. Totally worth it, rather than spending like, you know, 30 minutes scrubbing on your hands and knees with, you know, toxic chemicals and whatnot. Um, totally worth it. The only thing I would say if I could go back, I might use eye protection uh, because definitely there was some splash back. Maybe there might be a piece of grout that goes in your eye or something like that. So definitely be careful and make sure that you don't hurt yourself. And obviously your feet. Um, I made sure to stay away from my feet, but you know, accidents can happen. So if you want to do something to protect your feet, go for that too.
But uh, yeah, I, I think this is um, this is a good idea. I feel like it was very successful, so um, I definitely recommend it. Okay, we're not done yet. Um, after I turn off the water, I have to make sure that um, when I disconnect that uh, I don't like let water leak all over the house. So to do that, I'm gonna turn off the water first and then um, just, I mean, this is common sense, but in case somebody makes the mistake, just trying to prevent somebody from making that mistake. So uh, yeah, after turning off the water, you definitely wanna make sure to pull the trigger here and just drain any excess water you got, but before you do that, you gotta turn off the power washer because otherwise you will be blowing air and that's not good. So, just get rid of it. Get rid of all that water pressure. And uh, that way when you disconnect the hose, you won't create a flooding situation. Um, yeah, that, that'd be my tip. I should also note that uh, I don't really have, like this strip here is damaged, so even with my door closed I had some um, some leakage here, but even still it's not a lot, I mean that's not a lot of water that came out. It's uh, no, it's fairly dry here, a little bit, but you know, it just soaked up a little in this carpet here is all. So uh, not a big deal at all, uh, there was not any water issues there. but. Now looking at this side, I'm wondering maybe I should have, uh, I mean, maybe I should have done it with the door open <laughs> at some point, but then of course, obviously that's going to make some water leakage issues. So it's up to you, but uh, I'm probably, I'm probably not going to do that actually. So, okay. So even after telling you to go over it two or three times, even after I went over it two or three times, I noticed that there's actually still some places down here. And I think it's important to say, you know, just make sure, because we're tall as humans, right? Make sure to get down at eye level here to these areas, otherwise you might miss them like I did. I don't know how I missed them, even up here I missed some. So I just need to focus a little bit more on some of these areas. Okay, when I was cleaning up, I did have some water leakage. It's not a lot though, definitely enough that a bath towel could clean it up and still be pretty dry. Um, I also had a little bit here, so you want to be careful like when you're moving the hose and everything to uh, just like kink it by hand on purpose to make sure that you don't get like a splash in your hallway like I did here too. I don't think you can see that much, but yeah, I splashed here as well. So I have some drying up to do.